I think almost, almost everyone should consider having some sort of foreign exposure as a diversification. There is a whole wide world out there. And I think it's important to try and, and get at it. And what you really want when you're going international is to get some of the best in class companies that are offering things that you can't find in the United States. And often the way to do that is to go to the second tier companies, not the headline mega cap companies that you can probably buy in New York or London, but the second tier companies that you actually can't buy unless you go to the local market. And the closed end fund structure is a really good way of doing that because it allows you to have expert management giving you exposure to those companies, while at the same time not having to worry about the sort of fund flows, you know, uh, hot money coming in at the top, money being withdrawn at the bottom, that uh, can make it very difficult to manage that kind of a portfolio, that kind of exposure, while at the same time, because it is a closed-end fund, it gives you a nice transparency in terms of price and in terms of governance. And there's sort of two ways of looking at that. You either want to have some international exposure all the time uh, because of uh, diversification and exposure to best-in-class companies. And then what you might be looking at now is thinking, well, international is not really doing as well, and it hasn't been, especially the emerging markets, as the U.S. domestic economy or domestic market's been doing. But that's when you have to sort of think, well, this is actually a time I need to start thinking about increasing my exposure or even getting exposure to that because that means that down the road with the normal ebb and flows that you get in markets that you might be getting some excess returns if you get in now when they're out of favor. So of course I, I like to talk my book and Canada has been a little bit difficult to sell right now because the oil price of course has come off and the Canadian dollar the loonie has come off along with it. I think that uh, there are a uh, developed uh, economies that are attractive. Uh, Germany, for example, has come into a bit of a recession now, but I think there's excellent uh, companies in that economy and they will also benefit from the uh, increased QE and uh, weakened Euro. Uh, although the, the emerging markets have, uh, have uh, been a little bit out of favor, we think that uh, India and Indonesia, for example, those markets could be bright spots. For more information and data on closed-end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed-end funds. This is Closed-End Fund News. Thanks for watching.